Okay, uh, we're reading from Faith's checkbook again this morning. Uh, this is from Proverbs 20, verse 7. The righteous man walks in his integrity. His children are blessed after him. And we were you know, kind of been talking about David the last couple of days and walking in his integrity. Even though we've done wrong things, you know, we can go to God and you know ask for forgiveness and continue walking in integrity. If we walk before the Lord in integrity, we shall do more to bless our descendants than if we bequeath them large estates. A father's holy life is a rich legacy for his sons. The upright man leaves his heirs his example, and this in itself is a mine of true wealth. How many men may trace their success in life to the example of their parents? Above all, a righteous father leaves his children his prayers and the blessing of a prayer-hearing God, and these make our offering to be favored among the sons of men. God will save them even after we are dead. Our integrity may be God's means of saving our sons and daughters. If they see the truth of our religion proved by our lives, it may be that they will believe in Jesus for themselves. Lord, fulfill this word to my household. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel, I know you do too, um, <clears throat> extremely blessed that all of our children have received, you know, the Word of God, mm -hmm. you know, have been baptized in His name, filled with His Spirit, mm -hmm. you know, praise God. I know a lot of households out there are not like that, right. you know, that's got to be agonizing on, on parents, and grandparents, um, siblings. Mm -hmm. um, and we know the, the blessings of the Father do follow you know, the, his children. And the other also, you know. Mm -hmm. you know sins of the Father. The sins of the Father. They do follow the, you know, down to their down to his sons and possibly their sons, you know, um, just living a life of integrity. You know. It's very important, very important for us to do that which is right according to the Word of God. You know, living the best we can according to the Word of God is so important. And, you know, when you guys, um, Lord willing, uh, you know, get married and have families of your own, living that life of integrity. But we can start, you know, now living a life of integrity. What do you, you guys know? think integrity means? Doing the right thing. Wisely? No matter what. Well, and that certainly yes. is part of the definition of integrity, but mm -hmm. also your, you know, your father mentioned, and I don't Just remember if it was something he read directly from there. He was talking about, you know, if we if we fall, which we will, it's getting up, seeking forgiveness, mm -hmm. and moving forward with the right thing. Part of integrity is taking responsibility for when we do do something wrong, acknowledging it. See, our mm -hmm. world lacks integrity today to the point that they're always wanting to blame somebody else yes. for their mistakes or for something that they did. When if we just acknowledged take the responsibility that it was wrong we made a mistake whether it was intentional or unintentional we can move forward from that point of course taking it to God I'm just saying that mm -hmm. first we have to acknowledge it's like right. it's like being saved through grace you, you have to be you have to first believe in Christ before you move forward with living for him yep. and it's the same with integrity we have to realize that we are going to fail and part of failing means being discerning and humble and wise enough mm -hmm. to acknowledge that failure because without doing that first we cannot move forward into integrity and we start living you know like in the shadows and 
you know. Well, if, and, and we're plagued by our our mm-hmm, mistake. Mm-hmm, we are right, Satan will right. use that mistake to follow us and keep yep. us from living uprightly before God. He'll continually remind us of that failure, if not even. And that will compile. And it might repeat itself because when we don't acknowledge our mistakes, you know, it's kind of like one of those things we get so make mistakes so often, do the wrong thing so often that we start to consider it a tradition. (laughs) (laughs) So it it just becomes part of who we are. Come to expect it. (laughs) And we don't see it was wrong anymore. It's just a tradition. Um, But so always remember that. Yes, integrity is doing the right thing, but it's yes. also acknowledging our, our wrong our willingly. And, yep. Saying, okay, God, I did do this. I did. You know, it's like you know, telling the truth no matter what. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. we, we start bending the truth. Mm-hmm. You know, that's, that's not a good thing. And outright lying and stuff, you know, just, just tell the truth. As yeah. hard as it may be, because sometimes it is hard. Mm, bless you. Yeah, take it like a child of God. You know, just tell the truth. If we don't tell the truth, you know, we're not going to be living a life of integrity. You know. We've seen a yeah. lot of examples lately. It may get worse every year, but from those that are in power, from all sides showing a life without integrity. Mm-hmm. They don't take responsibility for their actions. They push the, mis- the mistake off yeah. on somebody else. They it's blame done. the other party. And that's, you know, that is, we, want, we can say that is a poor example, but that's really the power of Satan using these people. And, but it trickles down into our society mm-hmm. to set an example sure. Sure. of acceptance of such lack of integrity. Yes, I mean, yes, You know, you said a few minutes minutes ago, and like the like the mother and father were kind of it might it were kind of not so good. It must be agonizing for the. Mm-hmm. Oh no! With the children, not if some children that aren't saved must be agonizing for the mother and father. Children that re- re- reject the mm-hmm. Lord is what your father meant. Oh, but, yeah. but just a, just a second. What do you mean, mom? Well, it'd be sad if it'd be sad, sad for Mama and I if um, one of our sons rejected the Lord. We'd be we'd be sad. You know. Daddy was giving thanks that all of you boys are saved, yes. that you've all accepted Christ, yes, um, and that He knows that not every family is like that. There there are chil- children that do not accept Christ, and that must be hard for the mother and father to see. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? If the mother and father are Christians and their children reject Christ, that would be very hard. It'd be like you. Let's say you had a family, and your children didn't live for the Lord. Wouldn't that be hard? It yeah. would, indeed, indeed. Yes, you know, we are, <coughs> Mama and I are so blessed. This family is so blessed. We give God thanks for that every day, <coughs> every day. Um, but this. Tell the truth. Live that life of integrity. Do what's do what's right before the Lord. People may not see it quite like you know the Lord does. Oftentimes we don't. <clears throat> but if it lines up with the Word of God, that's the right thing to do. Okay. All right. Let's pray. Father, we love and praise you today. Lord, I just thank you for your goodness, Lord. Father, just uh, you know, living a, a life of integrity, I pray that for my entire family, Lord, that each one of us you know, would, would live the life of integrity and live that life that's right before you, Lord. Let's pray, Father, do you help us with that every day. Help us to to have that godly integrity, I guess, you know, just to do that which is right. Father, we love and we thank you today. We just give you the honor and the glory. In your most high name we pray. Amen. Amen.